Oh, it's a celebration, bitches. The market is crashing. You! Right, let's get into this episode. This is, it couldn't be closer to Christmas. It's traders Christmas. The market's crashing. Everyone's selling their shit in panic and traders are celebrating. You know why we celebrate when the market crashes? Because we all buy and everyone else sells. And when you start buying at a lower rate, when it goes back up, you're winning. You're winning. Cheers. Oh, God damn. 1414 Selection Tequila. My favorite. It's my celebration drink, bitches. Right, let's get into these goddamn markets. <laughs> This is literally the best day all year. I cannot believe it. Couldn't be better. Everyone's panicking on Twitter. Everyone's panicking. Roger Verse sending out a shitty news as usual. Um, everyone's like comparing Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash. Everyone's like, oh my God, sell, sell, sell. No, buy, buy, buy. Complete opposite to what everyone else is doing. Do you want to be the 2% in the world that are cruising around in Ferraris or Lamborghinis? Or do you want to be the dumb shits that are selling their positions and panicking because they're losing money? This is where we hold and we buy, buy, buy. Damn, I'm so excited today. Woo! Right, let's get into this. Ethereum. Look at this, boom. So we did have that uh, trend line drawn in. There is a flag pattern there as well. Um, unfortunately, that didn't go as planned, but then there are the breaks. Um, price did break out um, at the bottom of that uh, flag, so there was no entry there, and then it has pushed down to the downside. Um, there's a, nothing you can do about that. Um, Ethereum has been the least hit, to be honest, which is it's not a bad thing. Well, it kind of is for Ed and I because uh, we have a quite a large position on it. Um, so, but you know, Ed and I are used to these uh, crashes, Black Monday, whatever. It's just, it's raining money now. Um, if you've ever been part of a market crash like Brexit, Black Monday, then you know right now it's literally the best day in the markets. Cool. So, what do we got on Bitcoin? So we're down to 13,758 13, currently from a top of 19,854. Uh, 19, Excuse me. Too excited. My, my brain's going crazy. Look at these gaps. Wonderful stuff. This is dropping. It still looks like market's starting to settle. I do believe it'll probably drop down a little bit lower. Um, in previous months, 10,000 has held psychological resistance. So it'll be interesting to see what price does around that point and if that is actually, in fact, the actual turning point. Excuse me, I'm still. I've got to. Oh, oh, it's a good day, son. It's a good day. Oh. Can I get a hallelujah? All right. So, yeah, I'd really like to see what, um, what happens down at around the 10,000 mark around here um, and see, reassess the, the markets in. Um, I, we, Ed and I are both looking for the bottom of this crash. So as I said, hold on to your positions. If you're stupid, sell them. Sell them and be the 98% that lose money. Um, hold them and be the 2% that drives around in Lamborghinis and Ferraris. That's the rule. Um, and buy, buy, buy. If you've got spare change in your pocket, put it into these markets and wait for it to go back up. This is the best opportunity. No one wanted to buy that was already holding at 19,000. So why wouldn't you want to buy right now at 13,000 or even 10,000? Uh, Bitcoin Cash. That has been slaughtered today, but again, you know, I uh, just because I I'm not a fan of Roger Ver and his marketing campaigns, it doesn't mean that I don't have any faith in his currency, um, Bitcoin Cash. Um, it does serve value. It, the problem with it is Roger and his crew 
um, don't add value to it. They just compare it to Bitcoin constantly. It's like a, you know, I've heard drowning puppies scream quietly, uh, quieter than those two um, fools do. You know, any business in the world has never become successful off the back of knocking their competitors. That's just reality. So going back to this, it does have a purpose. They just need to start filling the public in on features and benefits because that equals value, not comparison. Comparison equals Nike and Adidas. Adidas is 35% below Nike. Why is that? Because it's a company that split. Nike was the main brand, Adidas was a secondary brand. The secondary will never ever supersede the primary because the brand is so strong that it just can't. That's exactly what's happening here with Bitcoin. Um, the brand of Bitcoin is on every newspaper across the world. Um, it's, a, it's on Financial Times, it's, it's everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's Bitcoin this, Bitcoin that. Ethereum is hardly being talked about, hence its volume and its market cap. Bitcoin Cash is being talked about, but it's being compared to Bitcoin. It needs to run its own race. Those guys really need to wise up, stop knocking Bitcoin and just develop their own plan. Um, we will be investing in Bitcoin Cash. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, but for now, you know, there's there's bigger fish on the market that we're um, we're flooding, flooding within um, our capital. And, you know, we've been doing this for a while. This is, as I said, today is not a gray day. Today is the best day we have had all year in trading. Um, we dream of market crashes. Any trader across the world will tell you that a market crash is the best fucking thing to happen. It's the best thing that could ever happen to you. It's not a negative. It's an absolute positive. It's a negative for stupid, dumb money. Crypto geeks that don't have any financial um, any financial experience look at this crash like it's a negative and they're selling, selling, selling. And it's clearly evident today. You know, they're, they're flooding the market with sale orders and prices dropping out of the sky. No one wants to lose money, but smart money, financial investors, traders hold and rebuy. Like Edward and I are looking at double, if not tripling our position right now. Um, because as I said, it's Christmas. It's literally traders Christmas. You can't wish for a better start to 2018. If you know, we get a chance to buy in at 13,000 or 10,000 on Bitcoin, what are you going to do? You're going to do exactly that. We weren't so keen at 20,000, but we're definitely keen at 10 because we know the historical level of 19,800 is going to be reached and price will bounce back up. It might take some time. I'm going to show you this. This is a um, this is a S and P historical uh, composite from 1871 to um, to 2009. Basically, it goes through all the crashes. So you've got um, 1906, 1921, 1929, and it goes through. So you know this is what happens. Like everyone, every successful trader has brought at these dips here at the bottom. You're always buying at the bottom. So it crashes, it comes down, boom. Now these crashes last in um, in stocks and, and Forex, last for anywhere between 600 and 900, I think 999 days was the longest. So the crash happens in a split second, right? The major part of it happens in over a day. Then from there, it'll trickle down for maybe three to six months. But then that climb back up is, uh, to get back up to where uh, to parity uh, is about two to three years on average. So when these things happen, I mean, I don't expect that to happen or that length of time to happen with cryptocurrencies, but I definitely know it's going to happen because that's just the nature of the beast when you're trading. You have to have uh, retracements and you have to have pushes. You know, there's no market in the world that just keeps going up. There is zero market. So, you know, what this has taught a lot of people today, hopefully, is that the long and short market exists in crypto. As, as everyone has been riding this wave up to 19,000, great, that's fantastic. But the market needs to come back. It needs correction and then it needs to go again. And that's exactly what's happening today. 
Um, as I said, I'm pretty excited. So I'll give you another cheers, give you a little wink, and if it's clever, buy, buy, buy. Um, get it at the bottom, like it, we've got here in 1921, 1932, 1949, 1982, and 2009. Get it at the bottom. Buy it and go. Why would you want to buy at 19,000 when you can currently buy at 10,000? Bitcoin is not going to drop down to $1, folks. It just won't. There's too much volume in the market to do so. So, um, yeah, take some friendly advice, some experience, and hold and buy. It's the best, it's the best opportunity you could ever have. Cheers again. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm cheersing everyone, but I'm not even sipping. Mm. It's a beautiful tequila. Anyway, that is the wrap for today. Uh, as I said, don't panic, hold. It's Christmas. It's trading Christmas when it crashes. This couldn't be a better situation today. Um, I hope you're all good out there. I hope you have a great Christmas. Edward will be back tomorrow, um, and I will be back on Christmas. So until then, folks, uh, say hi to your families, be true to yourself, and hold. Rebuy. Ciao. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below and also the notifications button so you don't miss out when the next episode comes out. Also follow us on the Facebook, get amongst the discussion over there, and also follow us on the Twitter. That's where Richie posts all of his badass trades. You don't want to miss out. See you soon.